There is a crucial thing about God's character that you must know. How does he act? How does he treat people? God is highly, abundantly merciful, patient with the human condition. God is merciful, forgiving. He understands our fallen condition. He understands why human beings betray, why they commit crimes, why they fail in every form. But there is one thing that God does not accept. There's something that God does not allow in the human condition. Against it, he presents no mercy. He presents firmness. And this is called pride and hypocrisy. Against these two mistakes, serious sins, God shows no compassion. Quite the contrary, the holy text in James 4, 6 says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. The proud only receive resistance from God. God resists them. God keeps them at a distance. Heaven is shut to them. Death fears towards them. Because in their arrogance, pride, they commit the same sin as their father, Lucifer, who was the first proud person in history. In fact, it was his sin who took him away from heaven. His pride let him think that he was better than God. And this sin had no forgiveness. There was no solution. There was no way to fix it. Lucifer became Satan because of the sin of pride. And along with pride, Jesus said that Satan was a murderer from the beginning. There is, he comes to kill, destroy, and there is no truth in him. Lies are the mother of hypocrisy, lead people, the proud people, to become hypocrites. And they have this appearance of one thing once they are another. Jesus had no mercy to these ones. When Jesus dealt with the hypocrites, Pharisees, religious ones, he dealt with all types of people. He dealt with Pontius Pilate, the governor of Judea back in those days for the Roman Empire. He dealt with beggars, blind ones, cripples, women, Samaritans, foreigners, Greeks. He dealt with all kinds of people. But he only resisted one type, the hypocrites of his time. And he has condemned them in advance because he knew that there was no way to save them from their hypocrisy. So the God who is merciful, who said this in Isaiah 55, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him. That is, God will have mercy on the wicked, righteous, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And this God, who is abundant in forgiving, had no way to forgive the hypocrites, the religious ones, the proud ones, because they thought they were better than God. If you check all the interactions with the religious ones with him, 
you will notice that all of them thought they were better than Jesus, greater and better. They looked down their nose at him. They got to the point of saying, can anything good come out of Nazareth? In other words, looking down their nose, we are from Jerusalem. This one comes from Nazareth. This one has not been to good schools. Who is he? We don't recognize him. So at all times, they thought that they were better than Jesus. And even though they were sinners, extortionists, thieves, abusers, deceivers, scammers of the faith, even though they were all this, they looked down their nose at Jesus and they thought that they were the creme de la creme. They were above. They were above him. Jesus had no patience with them. So God gives grace to the humble, but resists the proud. Why is this important? Because all human beings have in them the roots of these two sins. Don't think that you are exempt. You, me, we are exempt. No, we are not better. All of us have this root of pride within us. In the case of the Pharisees, their pride was religious. They thought they were the owners of the truth, the chosen people. We are descendants of Abraham. Who are you? They thought they were better. The religious pride. But pride is not only religious. There's all types of pride. There's the religious one, the social one. Oh, I came from a certain family. I have this surname. There is the pride of appearance, beauty, pride. They think they are above average, their beauty is above marriage, there is the intellectual pride, they are educated, they did courses of this and that, they like to quote authors of the past, they are proud of their knowledge. There's many types of pride, professional pride, they are very good on what they do, pride on arts, there's many types of pride, financial one, they are successful, they came out of nowhere, today they have everything, they conquered, they overcame, there's many types of pride, because pride is the essence, on the human DNA, we have pride running in our veins, and those who say they are not proud, are already proud, so pride is in us, Hypocrisy is also within us. But of course, being aware of this, of your human condition, you will work to fight these roots, this poison. This is a true poison that kills their victims, spiritually speaking. You will fight this poison that they will never grow, never sprout, they may never have space in your life. Don't be a hypocrite to be a pretender. There are some who are true actors. They pretend with no problem. They pretend. They show something that they are not. They live by your side, but they're doing something else completely the opposite of what it seems that they are or what they do. At least these people must think that others are dumb, that God does not see, He has no eyes, they are more clever than God, exactly as Lucifer. He thought he was wiser than God. They think that everybody is dumb and they are wise. They act in a way, it's like they have total control of the situation and they will never be caught. This is within us, this is inside of you. 
It's important that you recognize this, not to judge, not to look for proud ones and hypocrites around you. Look for the hypocrites and proud person in you. I tell you, but also for me, let's look for the proud one, the hypocrite that is in us already in control of our lives or trying to be manifested. And learn this, if you manifest yourself like this, if you allow these roots of evil to sprout and bear fruit, if you allow it, there will probably, probably be no chance for you unless you humble yourself. It's like the rest of the verses in James say, draw near to God and you draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. In other words, hypocrites, purify your hearts. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. That's the only way. That's the only way for the person to change. But as pride does not allow the person to do this, I will tell you, the proud and the hypocrite, when they humble themselves, if this happens, be sure that you witnessed a miracle. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.